Well, 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 hello, welcome back, guys. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. This is good old buddy Graham here, and you can see, yes, Sarah has joined us. Yeah, I know, I know, not the best photo of us, but you know, it happens. I've got a little bit more work to do on it, and not work on it. But as you can see, yeah, I'm back at work. <laughs> Now, this one's about Hercules. Yeah, absolutely. What do you mean, Hercules? Everybody knows about Hercules. Yes, they do. Yeah, I know. Now, you guys know about it as well. I will. After winning his well flavors, Hercules had a number of other when century have man of human attempts to steal her well you know not that ugly she kills it and you know of course it was soaked in the blood of Hydra that's how it did as the centaur lay dying, realizing his own blood is now poisonous, gave his blood-stained tunic to Daenerys, lying to her, said it would forever bind Hercules to her. Later, when she hears rumors of Hercules having an affair, of course, she gives a blood-soaked tunic to Hercules to wear, hoping it would bring them back. However, the poisonous blood on the tunic burns Hercules' flesh, causing intense pain. Realizing that he had been poisoned, Hercules builds his own funeral pyre and burns himself to death. After that, Athena carried Olympus on a sh chariot. According to the legend, he will spend eternity with the gods, apostles of Hercules. Now, when Hercules' followed, followers could couldn't find any remains in the ash, they realized that um undergoing a apostles and they began to reveal every him as a god. Now then join us a first century Greek historian explained when the company of Elolis came to gather the bones of Hercules and found not one single bone anywhere Well, undergone a pothis, and they said, being him to revive him as God, as like I said, Dejoris, a first century geek horse, explained when they com the champions of Aeolus came to gather up the bones of Hercules and found not a single bone anywhere. They assumed that, in accordance with the Lord words of the oracle, he had passed away, passed from among men to the company of gods. Although the queen of the gods, Hera, Hercules' stepmother, had a bane of his early existence once he was made a god, she reconciled to her stepson, even gave him her daughter, Heba, for his divine wife. Hercules' defecation complete, he would therefore henceforth be seen as a superhuman immortal who ascended to the apostles and demigod who was for more taken his place among the Greek gods as they ruled from their mountain perch. Now, why am I reading this? Why do you care about, why do I care about Hercules? Why should anyone care about Hercules? Well, you see, rumors had it, have it, that uh, they, <laughs> and somewhere in Greece, found a tomb dedicated to Hercules underneath Mount Olympus. Now, me and the crew decided to go check this out. Now, why did we do that? 
Well, you see, the reason why we did that was <laughs> money. You see, we're well known as protectors of ancient artifacts. Well, not really. We just gather them and keep them from Sarah's former workplace. And in this tomb, there are two things that have said they've been hidden there. Well, actually, three things. Hercules' club he used to kill the lion. And Hercules' lion's claw, lion's uh, armor, the armor that he wore that was from the lion. And most importantly, the only weapon other than that club Hercules carried was the arrows. But the hydra's poison... It was said that this was all in his tomb. That they gathered all this in his tomb. And made sure that, well, no one would touch it. So, there, it's said that a child of Cerberus actually... Watches over his tomb. That even. The god Hades himself. Watches over it. Well. We were going to test that out. So we decided to go there. And check it out. To see what's going on. So we arrive in Greece. Of course. The only other part, well, Rome. We arrive in Rome to catch a flight to Greece, a joining flight to Greece, to go to Olympus, the Mount Olympus. We were to beat our guide in Rome. Huh? Why? Well, he lived in Rome. So we met him in Rome, and well, that's where our story begins. So, we are waiting on our tour guide here in Rome, and we're to go to Greece. Why is this? Uh, well, the text said that he lives here in Rome. Let me see your phone. What? Come on, give my phone back. Oh, shit, he does. Hey! That's what you get for waking me up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Told you to let me sleep in. Couldn't let you sleep in. We had to be at the airport at 5. <sighs> okay. Oh, it is good to be home. In Roma. Oh, boy. Antonio. Yes. You know what his address is? Ah, yes. That is not too far where we're at. Why would a tour guide live in Rome when he tours, gives tours in Greece? I have no clue. I, I have no clue. I, I can't. I'm... Hello. How is everybody doing? Ah. You must be Vanshiri. Yes, I am Antonio. Nice to meet you, Antonio. So, uh, what exactly are we gonna say? When we get there, I will tell you. Okay? I will show you. How is that? That sounds okay to me. How about you guys? Are we going on a plane? Yes, of course. I have a part of the plane. Set up for you all. So I get to sleep on this flight. Of course. You may sleep if you want. Yes. She's a bit cranky. I see. 
in this web place. So, what's going on with this? Uh, why, why was it so important for the archaeologists to bring us to Greece? Well, they were contacted by uh, former employees of yours. Oh, really? Yes. They demanded the artifacts that were being excavated. All of them. The thing is, is that there's something preventing us from, well, my employers from getting to any of the artifacts. What? Well, you'll have to see for yourself. A couple hours later. Oh. Hey, sleepyhead. Hey. Oh, what does that for? All right. Um, Sophie, Sophie, get up, please. I need help. What? My arm's going numb. I need help. What? Oh, Sarah. What? Ah! What the fuck? Oh, hey, Sophie. Uh, okay. Um. What here? Yes. Uh, what here? All right. This camp's been trashed. It wasn't like this when I left earlier. The gun didn't get you. I swear. All right, guys. Let's split up. Tony, Antonio, go with Sarah. Sophie, with me. On it. Okay. <clears throat> you wanna scanning? Nothing magical. This is all done by nothing magical. So these fires were set on purpose. <sighs> Bullet hose. Huh? That's a... That's an AK round. That's a... <sighs> Ew. That's a... 308 round. Yeah, they were definitely using 308s. This one is different. That's a 30. It's a 9 millimeter. So pistols. So one person is using a 9 while the others are using 308s. <sighs> How can you tell? Other than the casings, uh, the way the bullet's shaped, the way it flattens itself out. And, well, nine millimeters are quite small round. So, what about the body? No body, so they ran in that direction. On it. What is she doing? Oh. She's putting out the fires. A little bit of rain. And. Footprints. We couldn't have seen them if it wasn't raining. So they ran off in that direction. Guys. Yo, what's up? You guys want to see this. We're about three miles away from camp. Okay. That way. On it. You? 
get back in the get back in the Jeep, go get the authorities. Okay? Yes, sir. I, I will do that. What's that? 308? Yeah, same back there. Any nine millimeter casings? No, why? At back at the camp there's nine millimeter casings. Oh. Are you thinking? Yeah. So they got Strofa. Strofa? <sighs> yeah, Strofa. It's what I call Strofa. It's a shredding round made to kill one on one hit. Shotgun. How do you know? Firing pin centered plastic casing. Yeah, it's shooting pretty big slug. Eric. Eric? Eric Shunga. Sounds German. It's Russian. He used those type of casings. There must be something that he wants here. So we got one of the head. We got one of the head of the board. one of the most dangerous people. Yes. Oh, this is never good. So basically, we're gonna have. To Pistol, but it's full auto. It's a Glock 19. I'll explain the nines and so many hitting in one target at one time, three different. She's the best shot they got. The thing is, with a rifle, she sucks. So, what about the AK? Just a bunch of guns. Okay. All right. Well. We're going to have to deal with some goons, and we're going to have to deal with, uh, everything else. Exactly. So, what's our best strategy? Well, right now, survival. We have to find the rest of them and survive. Alright. Sure, you think they'll be going towards the tomb? If they got one of the professors, yeah, most definitely. They want that artifact. Whatever it is, they want it. All right. Well, then we're on it. Let's go. Split up. I'm coming with you this time. Hold on. Well, uh, you heard me. Fine. You too. On it. Got it. 
guess we're heading down that path. Well, I'm going to stop it here, guys. Good luck. Good night. Till next.